where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of I mix old and new, I mix boho, I mix French country, I mix rustic. I just like it all. A lot of my decor are heirloom pieces that was given to me by my mother. Uh, they are my grandmothers, my great grandmothers, my great aunt. So I, everything has a meaning to me. My husband, I have several of his pieces for his grandmother. So it's just all about family in this house. But today, I am going to work in our kitchen area. I want to keep it very simple. Um, during the summer months, we do cook a lot more for some reason, it seems. So I want to keep it very clean. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start on this side first and just work our way around the kitchen. Uh, I've got everything kind of laid out on the island, as you can see behind me. I want to kind of mix some things differently. You can see behind me. That's an old roll of paper that you would cut at an old store. I have put my um, tin foil in that, and I'll show that to you guys in just a bit. I have taken all of my copper out. I just want to keep that out until fall. So I took almost all my copper. Now I have a set of copper on that side and around my sink. I left that, but you're going to see that 90% of my copper is gone. Let's get started decorating. This is a very long area. It comes into our kitchen area and then wraps over to our refrigerator. There is something plugged in right here. I used to have my microwave right here and I didn't wanna have that in here anymore, but I wanna keep pretty much everything that I need to use on this side, I believe. I don't want it on that side. So let's play with how I'm gonna do this. I did not get rid of any pieces of wood. This is a piece of the shelves that we had in our, we have in the um, pantry area. And when we cut it off, I said, don't get rid of it, I'll use it. So I kind of use it as a riser. My thong. Maybe put it center. This is my sugar. Now, these are some coppers. These are just some flour and some other things that I use. I think I'm just gonna kind of mix that in. This was my mother's cookie jar. This was our cookie jar when we were little. And I think I am going to use that right here. And that, that is my recipe box. And I 
am going to use my pots over here. I'm just going to kind of, I know what I can do. I'm going to use them over here. So I'm going to use my basket. This is just a little tray that I have. And I'm just going to put that in this corner, in this corner, right up next to my um, refrigerator. And put these. This makes it so easy when I go to clean off the countertops, all I have to do is just pull these pieces completely off and I can wipe everything down and put everything back on fairly easy. So in this area, I'm dealing with a lot of obstacles. I have several plugs that I like to distract from and I don't want to see them. So what I do is I put this large crock with all of my cooking utensils in front of the plug. So that hides that. Then I've got this area here. This plug doesn't even work. Um, my husband's going to work on that, but I want to hide all of that. So what I do, or what I thought I'd do, is take this larger cutting board and stick it in the back. And you can see that I put the handle on this side so it will stand up and it won't fall over. But I do want another set on top of it because I want it to look like I just don't have one cutting board sitting there. So I'm taking a different shape of a cutting board and putting it in front. And you can tell that it's a different color of, of stain and I love the contrast of the two. In front of that, this is my, um, what I use for my temple. This is an old paper um, dispenser the butchers used to have. And so we decided to put our tin foil on it and it works really great. My husband did put feet on this and the reason is because I didn't want to scratch the countertops. And I think that's all I'm gonna do in this area. So normally over my stove, I have a ton of copper back here. I've taken all that down. I did leave up my three little pots because I absolutely love them. And I want to put a piece of wood on my griddle area. I think it just adds some warmth. I've got a lot of wood throughout the kitchen. I would love to eventually cover our vent hood with wood. That's something way down the road. But I have this really pretty shaped cutting board that I want to use right here. And it just kind of distracts from that solid black surface. And then I have this really pretty blue willow that I wanna use in here, divided tray, and just put my salt and pepper shakers. Very simple, and that's all I'm gonna do. So once again, I've moved you slightly down from the stove area, and I've got another plug. And as much as I'm very thankful that I have plugs, I do wanna hide it. So this is what I'm gonna do. You remember I did the piece of wood on the other counter on the other side. I have another piece that I'm just going to put right here. I'm gonna layer in just a very simple basket with a um, linen insert around to kind of mimic the other side of the stove. And you see, can, I can put it right here to hold it in place where it doesn't move. A rolling pin. Bear Bear's food. So I've covered it. I've used some antique pieces and I really like it. And that's all I'm going to do there. You know, after I said that's all I'm going to do here, I thought I've got my little pegs back there. I need to use my pegs. I have this really cute spoon rest. Another spoon with the blue. I thought that would be pretty. Maybe I need to change that. I think that's really cute. I really love decorating this window area. I want to keep it simple as well, but I do want to add some greenery in it. So my thought was I have these really pretty 
uh, jam jars, I believe is what they are. They're Belgian, Belgium jam, I believe. I bought these from Rusty Ridge Vintage. I love them. And then I had these really pretty, they're already in pots and they're herbs is what they said they were. I bought these off of Amazon. I'll be glad to link them down below. They came in a set of three, but I can only find two, but I only have two of these jars. So my thought was to put them down inside and use them in my window seal. You can see this one's slightly different, but they're very pretty. Even the pots are pretty. I like them just the way they are, but I thought just to use my blue. These are some cream creamer jars uh, that I got from her. I have three of those. all I'm gonna do in my window. that I breathe. 